Hi champions, Coach Fei here, author of Choreography of Awakening, Performance Mastery Coach and owner and president of Institute for Performance Mastery. On Monday last week, a friend, a teacher, a mentor, and a shaman, a healer, Rafael Berinjana, was killed in a desert of Egypt while conducting a healing ceremony. He was bombed as he was mistaken. He and his group were mistaken for the terrorists. It was a heartbreaking experience and heart stopping and really stopping experience to to reflect back on the times that I have spent with him, the concerts that I have attended, the way he touched my life. He was a young man of 40 years old and he did not expect to die that soon and not one of us have expected that. As I was reading the posts on Facebook that his friends and followers and clients written, one in particular struck me. It said, Raphael did not die with the music in his heart. So this video today, I want to devote to that because this one sentence right there brought me the most meaning that anything that I have read in the longest time. Never before I really got to think about my life in those terms. The truth is, Raphael did not die with the music in his heart. At that moment, as I read that phrase, I did not feel sad anymore for his going because he truly did live his life fully. He had contributed to the healing of the planet. He had contributed his life to the lives of many. He changed and touched lives of so many people with his presence, with his music, with his wisdom, with his words, with his talks with his touch. I knew in that moment that if my time comes, I want to know that I'm not dying with the music in my heart. And that means that every day I'm supposed to live fully, 100%, because you never know when your time comes, because you never know when you're going to sit in a healing ceremony and you'll be just bombed out of nowhere, just like that. I mean, when we're saying things like the bomb just dropped on your head, the bomb just literally dropped on his head. So what is it that we can do every day to, to live in such a way that we don't die with the music in my heart, with the music in your heart? So many of us, live our lives in fear, in fear of stepping up, of sharing our voice, of sharing who we are, of expressing of ourselves and doing what we love to do. We hold ourselves back. And I, I want, you probably know this, but I love speaking. I love speaking and through my talks, I inspire people and I touch their hearts, just like Raphael did. And that's my contribution into the world. And I've learned to do it in such a way. I've committed myself to studying and learning the techniques and ways to express myself better so that I could touch more lives. That people started coming over to me and they started asking me things like, how do you do this? And so I thought, I'm a teacher. And it's not just for me to enjoy this self-expression of 
being who I am and standing on that stage and sharing my voice, but I will make even greater contribution to the world if I teach others how to do that. And so I have created this event of Warrior Bootcamp, a Warrior Speaker Bootcamp that I'm going to host on Saturday, this coming Saturday. If you are called to share your voice, your gift, your message with the world, if you know in your heart that that's what you're supposed to do, I invite you to take this course, this play shop. It's not even a workshop, it's a play shop, because we are meant here to play. We are meant here to enjoy our life and to share it with others. Some of you may say, but I have other things to do on Saturday. Or maybe that's too expensive and I can't do it. Maybe it is so. When I told some of my friends about Raphael, they cried. They cried because I called, I called them and invited them so many times to attend his concerts. And they couldn't. They didn't have enough money or there wasn't the time. I'll do it next time, they would say. Let me know when it's the next time. Let me know that another time I'm going to do it. And then another time I would tell them and then something else would come up. But this time, they will no longer be able to attend that concert. Folks, if this is something you have to do, clear your schedule, do it. Don't wait till the next time, because you never know if the next time is going to happen. I don't know if the next time is going to happen. Click the link below. Join me for the Warrior Speaker Bootcamp this Saturday. I'll see you there.